talk about the city of LA and its ban on public murals, which the law basically states that uh, any public mural will consider well, its art. It's considered an advertising, they call it signage, so that means that they can't have it up in public. So that means that uh, uh, obviously they don't have enough code enforcement officers to come down to every public mural, but um, if they do find it, they'll order you to take it down and find you for every day you, did, that you don't take it down. So basically my claim is that um, laws like these are unconstitutional because they violate uh, your uh, expression, your First Amendment to free expression. And I want to start off by saying that uh, if you go to LA, as you know, it's impossible, almost impossible to, you know, drive through the streets without uh, seeing, uh, you know, paintings, art, murals. And it's not a new thing. Uh, the murals started back in LA back in the 70s, and one of the most well-known uh, murals is actually called the Great Wall of LA. And that's in the San Fernando Valley. It's in a flood channel. And it was painted in the 70s. Uh, it was headed by Judith Baca and members of the community. And she's quoted by saying, this project had employed over 400 youth, along with 40 historians, 40 artists, hundreds of historical witnesses, and thousands of residents involved uh, in, the in the production of a half mile narrative mural. And that's, uh, I include that because, you know, it shows that uh, LA is not new to murals. So uh, nowadays, in present day, uh, obviously it's very heavy enforcement. When I mean heavy, I mean uh, actually uh, last year, uh, before a popular, well, actually, I'll get to that right now. Um, I'm talking about the heavy enforcement, like, uh, I think it's more heavily enforced because there's, there's a bigger upset acceptance of uh, the street art culture and graffiti, and because of that, I think it's uh, a heavier uh, crackdown. Uh, last year, an uh, artist was arrested, and actually he hadn't, he hadn't even painted for a year in L.A., and they still arrested him, so I think the officials of the city wanted to send a message that they weren't, they weren't going to have any of that, and he was actually charged with uh, $320,000 bail, and he spent a month in jail, without any charges, I guess they were dropped, I'm not sure. But, um, uh, more about the graffiti acceptance and the street art culture. Actually, last year there was a popular exhibit at the Museum of Contemporary Art called Art in the Streets. And uh, I think it's important, it's a milestone event, because that shows how widespread uh, uh, the street art has been, become accepted, and here are some numbers. The, show that the total attendance for the exhibit, which ran from April 17th to August 8th, were 201,352 people. Uh, I think I went like four times, so I'm in there. Um, uh, and that's actually surprising because the same uh, museum, in 2002, for an Andy Warhol exhibit, they had 194,000 people, and in 2007, for a Murakami exhibition, they had only 149. Uh, people would show up, so that shows how big uh, street art street art has gotten. And continuing with the law, as it says, basically says the only uh, uh, what's it called? the only thing that it says is that it's uh, public murals are considered signage. That's the only thing. That's the only basis, and I think that's a weak basis. And I mean, uh, that's what I said. But to back it up more is. Uh, Here's a statement by Judith Baca, who's the artistic director of the Social and Social and Public Art Resource Center, and she's also the one that built, helped uh, um, paint the Great Wall of LA. She states that if it's about beauty or social interaction, it's a mural. If it's a, if it's designed to sell a product, then it's advertising, pure and simple. And I think um, that statement doesn't get any more simpler. I just included it for me. I included it because she's a reputable person in the artistic community. And um, uh, to conclude, I just want to say that, uh, I mean, I guess that law, it shouldn't, it's not right because uh, it infringes upon people, the community to be able to express their art. You know, it's not something that's, you know, it, it's part of the community. And uh, I think that the city officials, instead of focusing on uh, uh, trying to 
censor art and murals that they should focus on the real issues like uh, education and crime. That's it.